As all you guys know, Shohei Otani just signed for a whopping $700 million for 10 years, and also broke the record for the most expensive contract in MLB history. But is he actually worth all that money? Today we're going to go over the 5 biggest contracts in MLB history and actually see if the money that they spent on the players was worth it or not. Number 5. He signed with the San Diego Padres for $350 million for 12 years. Manny Machado is definitely a great player, but I'd say his biggest problem is laziness. Sometimes he doesn't run to first base his hardest when he could easily be safe, doesn't try to tag the third base runner out, he's great defensively, has a great arm to throw to first base. But again, he was part of the 2023 Padres who had Juan Soto, Fernando Tatis Jr., and they were talking about the World Series before the season even started. But didn't even make the playoffs. Just right now, imagine, so imagine when we had the World Series parade this year, <laughs> going through the city. How crazy is that gonna be? Look up even after all this stuff, Manny Machado is still definitely worth it. In 2022, he helped all the Padres a lot to play the Mets in the playoffs, even though they lost. Next up, we have a big outfielder, Aaron Judge. On the New York Yankees, he signed for $360 million to play for nine years. Even though he missed 56 games this year, he still did amazing and helped the Yankees out a lot. When he was in the lineup, they had a winning record, but when he wasn't in the lineup, they had a losing record. Even with him missing 56 games, he still did better than lots of MLB players. He even hit 38 home runs and that ended with an average at almost 300, which is pretty good. When I think of Aaron Judge, I think of him on the Yankees. There's no way I could imagine him on like the Giants or any other team. Aaron Judge is worth it, definitely. He is the leader of the Yankees and he's going to lead Juan Soto and the Yankees to a great playoff run probably next year. Despite what's going on, even if he's injured most of the season, he still puts on great numbers and even if he can't play the outfield in the future, he can still hit great. Mookie Betts is insane. He can play the outfield, he can play the infield. He's a power hitter and a contact hitter. He's very fast, can steal bases. He can basically do anything you want on the field. He signed with the Dodgers for $365 million, $100 million. The best thing about Mookie Betts is he can move around because the Dodgers this offseason got Manuel Margot. They have Jason Hayward, so they don't really need him in the outfield. They have Gavin Lux at shortstop, so he can play second base just fine and still hit 40 home runs a season. Especially in this killer Dodger lineup, Mookie Betts is going to go great. And Mookie Betts is definitely worth it, especially with the Dodgers because they have so much money they can just buy anyone they want. Mike Trout's a great player and signed with the Angels for however much this is. Mike Trout is a power hitter. He can hit it really far, and in his career, he's hit 368 home runs. His stats are pretty good, and he has a good record of not getting injured. Bryce Harper was drafted the same year that he was, and he can't throw anymore, basically, because he has an arm issue. Mike Trout doesn't have that, so he gets bonus points for that. He's a power hitter, hits many home runs, and is very Especially good. since the Angels didn't even try to get Shohei Otani, this is worth the money. If the Angels even want to be a contesting team, they're going to have to have Mike Trout on the team and add some other players also. Next up, we have the only person who can hit a home run 450 feet, then go throw a pitch over 100 miles an hour to strike someone out, and then in their free time, buy half the MLB teams. You already know it's Shohei Otani. He just signed with the Dodgers for $700 million, and lots of people say this is overpriced, but is it? Shohei Otani is debatably better than Babe Ruth. He can pitch very well, and even though he won't be able to pitch in the 2024 season, he'll still be able to hit, and his hitting is insane. Even if he didn't pitch and played like the outfield, he'd still be great just for hitting. Then on top of that, on average, every game he brought in $50,000 of revenue just for people going to see him. Over 162 games, that's a lot of money. And over 10 years, that's a lot of money. Shohei Otani is going to be bringing fans into the game. He's going to be hitting home runs and helping the Dodgers' attendance rate and the Dodgers' skill. I wouldn't say that he was worth $700 million. If he pitched like he did in 2022 before he got injured for the next 10 years, he'd definitely be worth it. But the chances are he's probably going to get injured pretty soon and not be able to pitch. My opinion, he's definitely worth something, but I don't think any team should pay him $700 million. Make sure you comment your opinions and make sure you subscribe and like. Thank you for watching.